guys, welcome to the video. Today's discussion is going to be about the Israeli civilian issued gas mask as well as the accompanying filter. The gas mask itself has polycarbonate lenses, a rubber exterior shell, a drinking tube port. This is the 40 millimeter filter adapter or the uh, insert for it, a speaking port. Everything is sealed together nice and tight. You have elastic bands that secure a five point harness on your head as well as a nice flat comfortable non-rubber attachment for the back of your hair. Inside you're going to have a drinking port tube that you can bite down and drink. This also features a double seal unlike many gas masks. This has the exterior seal as well as the nose and mouth seal and a chin seal inside. Really important. This keeps your gas mask from fogging up inside because this will seal around your nose and mouth and you can breathe and speak easily and this won't fog up. The filter itself is a two-piece design, one being the exterior and two being the uh, securing agents that are on here. How to open it up is pretty simple. This is my demo unit. It's been opened up before. You're going to pull this tab. It's going to open up the part that you will be sucking the air in from. And then you can unscrew the cap. And you have the contents of the filter. Once you have your filter completely opened up on either side, you can insert it into the 40 millimeter intake and screw it in clockwise. A good hand tight seal is all that it takes. Once you have that installed, you can begin to don your gas mask. Simply open up the elastic bands, stick your chin in first, and adjust. While holding the gas mask with your left hand, begin to adjust the straps on the top. And the ones on the bottom. Switching hands if necessary. Once the gas mask is firmly on your face, do a press check. The gas mask is now ready to be used. On the right side of the gas mask, you will notice that there is a port that is for your drinking tube. Simply open up the port, take your drinking tube, screw it on till it's hand tight and the drinking tube is able to be used. When you want to actually drink, all it takes is just a quick squeeze and that opens up the valve inside to drink. The other end of the tube can be used on your Israeli styled canteen or just to plop it into some water and drink. When you want to store your gas mask or the threat has been eliminated or you need to change a filter, simply turn counterclockwise a few revolutions. The filter will come out of its 40 millimeter receptacle. Put down the gas mask. Simply install the cap back on and you can then put the cover back on and press firmly. This filter can now be stored six months to one year depending on its climate. I get a question all the time, will a gas mask protect me in a fire? And the short answer is no. Why? Because a fire consumes oxygen. It needs oxygen to stay burning. So a gas mask does not supply you any oxygen, unlike a SCBA, self-contained breathing apparatus, where firemen have a tank on the back. That supplies them oxygen. So a gas mask doesn't supply oxygen. It just filters things. In reality, it actually should be called a particulate filter. It actually filters particulates that are in the air. The activated carbon inside can absorb uh, particulates that are kind of moisturous in, in a way versus solid uh, sawdust style 
pollen styled uh, particulates. So a gas mask will not protect you in the fire. The other question that I get is what type of filters will work on the gas mask? 90% of gas masks work on a 40 millimeter filter. If you have something, let's say like a finish style filter or a finish style mask, it takes a 60 millimeter filter. You can get an adapter that will go from one to the other, but almost 90% of all masks work on a 40 millimeter filter. That is this end right here, not the end that you breathe through. It's the end that actually will screw into the mask. Now, something really important, and this generally concerns only males, is beards. Will a mask seal on your beard? And the short answer is no. It will not seal correctly, it will leak. So what happens is, since this is a form of resistance, when you're breathing through it, energy tends to find the easiest way. So if this is a resistance, and this happens to be an easier way, you're gonna begin sucking oxygen out of the bottom of the mask. So if you fear some form of imminent attack at any given moment, then you should be shaven at all times. Say like a fireman or a police officer. If you fear only certain style attacks on say anniversaries of 9-11, or you're going overseas, or you're going to a dangerous area, say if you're a reporter and you're going into a, an area that's active in a sense of rioting, looting, and there's gonna be tear gas, and I suggest you shave before you go because you never know when you might have to don your mask. So again, make sure this whole area is shaven, otherwise you will leak. The other concern that I get or question is, what do I do with this thing? Do I just tuck it away in a closet until I need it? Or do I have it out in the open? What do I do with it? And my first answer is train with it. And by that I mean put it on, learn to talk to each other through it, because it is, a, like I said, it's a form of resistance, this filter. Put it on. Learn to communicate with it and understand that it's going to stifle you. It's going to stifle your breathing. It's going to impede a lot of different things that you normally do right now. Some of which is actually sight. It, it does kill your peripheral vision a little bit. It has this area, so it, it doesn't help in that regard. This filter is pretty large. It, it's, it's like the size of a Big Mac. It, it's going to stifle and restrict some breathing, the, the flow in. And that takes some time to get used to. It almost feels like you're in the mountains where oxygen is a little bit more dense. The other thing is learning to not panic when you have this thing on. It sucks. You know, this is not like wearing, you know, comfortable underwear. It's almost like wearing, you know, something that you just are not used to. You don't like it. It's comfortable in one way and it sucks in another. And, you know, it's not something we're used to having on our faces. You know, if you're a fireman, you get used to it. It's not a big deal. It becomes, you know, secondary nature. It's people who have never used one, people who have never had something this close to their face and this tight, they kind of might feel claustrophobic. My mother is one of those people. She gets very, very claustrophobic the minute you start tightening those straps on. So my advice to everybody is have it readily available for the first two weeks that you own it. If you're watching TV, put it on. Get used to just sitting around with it. You might have to spend a day or two wearing this thing, you know, if something ever was to happen. Um, maybe jump on a treadmill if you have one. Jump on a treadmill and try to run with this thing. It, it's going to suck, I'm telling you right now. But it's better that you learn now than if you learn the hard way when something actually does happen. So that's my advice to you is put it on, talk to each other, communicate, laugh, get it over with. And this way, when you do have to wear this, you're not going to be kind of culture shocked into uh, learning this as you go. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you get your mask. There's many different types in the market. This one happens to be a really good deal. It's a budget style mask. It's a very high quality mask. I put my family's trust in those masks and I think you should too. Thanks guys for watching. Be safe.